So now in this video, we're gonna look at rectification. Basically, that means we're gonna use a transistor here, like a diode, where it will conduct one direction, but not the other direction, depending on which side of the power supply is on which side of the circuit. So this could be reverse voltage protection right there. And the nice thing about using this P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET, we're gonna use the BS250 right there, is that it doesn't have a forward voltage. When it's conducting, it doesn't have a voltage that it drops. Now it's not a perfect conductor. It will provide a little bit of uh, resistance even while it's uh, conducting as good as it can in the circuit. So a tiny bit of voltage will build up across it, but it doesn't really have a voltage drop and it doesn't build up near as much voltage as most diodes right there. So in any case, the uh, wiring is the same for uh, these two circuits. It's actually gonna be the same circuit. It's just the side of the power supply that's gonna go across it. You can see that uh, we got ground at the bottom there, positive on top there, like normal. Over here we put ground on top, so that's the negative side of the power supply. We consider that zero volts. And the positive side of the power supply, I have the power supply set to five volts right there. We have a, a couple of LEDs, so they're wired in opposite directions. So LEDs are a diode, they only conduct in one direction, and they light up and we're gonna protect them with the 220 ohm resistor from too much current. So in this circuit, I decided to wire the green LED so that it lights up when we have a good uh, circuit right there. If we put the power supply backwards, I'm considering that a bad circuit, and if there's conduction, the red LED will light up. But uh, as we'll see, the transistor will prevent that. So we're using the BS250. Left pin is the drain, middle pin is the gate, and right pin is the source. The uh, smaller flat side right there is the front. That's where it has its part number. So, in any case, we will uh, zoom over here. I already built the uh, circuit on the board right there. And so the uh, smaller side of the transistor there is to the left. And uh, the back is to the right. So we have our drain on top our gate in the middle. So I have this jumper coming down and then to the bottom of the LEDs down there. You can see we got uh, that jump there. And then the source coming to a 220 ohm resistor. It's coming one spot above where the white jumper ends and comes to the LEDs. Short lead the cathode of the red LED to the resistor, long lead the anode down. And then the green LED wired the opposite direction. Long lead the anode to the uh, resistor, short lead the cathode down one row. And uh, that's really about it for the circuit. So we're gonna take the uh, blue jumper right here and come to the bottom. So it's to the negative rail and to the bottom of the LEDs. You can see that there. And then a red jumper, I'm gonna put to the positive rail and we're gonna go across the transistor. So you'll see that uh, it conducts right there. Green LED lit up, as I said before, that means it's good. If I move this down, it should be the same brightness for the most part, right there. Don't put it in that same row as the jumper there. That'll go directly across the LED. So I do have current limited, so they won't burn out from the uh, power supply. But uh, if you connect it there, you'll have a direct connection from the uh, power supply directly across the LEDs instead of the protective resistor. And uh, that might burn them out if you don't have current limited. Now, we're going to swap these and come up negative side of the supply to the uh, drain right there of the transistor and the uh, red jumper will plug into the positive supply and then come to the bottom of the LEDs. So wired it the same, but the power supply is in opposite direction now, as far as the circuit's concerned. And there you can see that uh, the red LED is not lit up and that's what we want. But if I bypass the transistor, come down, now it is lit up. So if that's what we're avoiding based on a polarity, then uh, this is what we could do. Just take a P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET right there and wire it up as you can see here. The uh, gate here is tied to the other end of the LEDs there, ground in this case. And when the gate is actually to the positive supply, that is when the transistor is normally off. That's a normal off switch right there. If you wanted to turn this on, you would put the gate uh, to ground. That's a normal circuit. 
So right now it's normally off, as you can see there. And uh, when it is on, we actually have the drain and source backwards from uh, normal circuits, but uh, that's okay. It can conduct in either direction without uh, much problem at all. And before we get to the multimeter measurement, if there's a FET in the name, MOSFET, JFET, whatever, just realize that uh, they don't have universal schematic symbols like the bipolar junction transistor, which everybody uses the same symbol for NPN or PNP. When it comes to uh, MOSFETs, JFETs, people use different symbols, but this one is the one that I like. So hopefully there's a part number there. You can Google that and you'll know what the uh, part is if you don't recognize the uh, transistor symbol that you are given. And so finally, let's look at this with the multimeter. So first we'll look at the power supply voltage. I'll uh, go up here and then down to the bottom of the LEDs. And there you can see we're just uh, a bit shy of five volts because we're losing a little bit of voltage through the wires. So a small amount of, uh, we'll get the same measurement on that side of the transistor. A small amount of resistance still takes away a little bit of voltage, but there you can see now we're a bit uh, lower, but nowhere near as much as a diode. Maybe we're losing a little less, it looks like, than a 0.1 volt right there. So we could also just go directly across the uh, transistor here to uh, look at uh, the voltage across it. And it looks like uh, 0 0.06 for the most part right there. So that's being taken away from the load. Again, that's because of a little bit of resistance, just like with the uh, wires. There's a little bit of resistance. So. Uh, we're not going to get the full supply voltage. If we increase the resistance here, let's uh, use a 1 kilo ohm, we should get better results. So now, you notice that the LED is not as bright, probably not near as obnoxious right there because that's a little more than four times the resistance right there. So we're going to have about a fourth of the current to deal with. And we'll go across the resistor, look at how much voltage is across the resistor and LEDs. And there you can see uh, 4.9 uh, almost seven and uh, the power supply again there you can see we're up about uh, 0 0.02 volts higher approximately right there so a little bit better that's because we got more resistance on this side the resistance of the transistor doesn't matter as much more of the voltage is building up across the load but uh, in any case that's it for this video hope you enjoyed always make sure you turn the multimeter off definitely get it off measuring current if it's set to measure current because Trying to measure a voltage when the meter is set to measure current, it's not going to limit current. You'll probably blow a fuse. But in uh, any case, that's it for this video. Make sure you check out one of the other ones I'm posting to the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. If you can donate, please do. I have links down below. That would help out the most, but I appreciate watching videos. That helps a lot too. I'll see you in the next one.